What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going to do a logger's crate. Uh, stuff I take into the woods to cut firewood. Um, you could call me a weekend warrior. I'm certainly not a professional logger. I do not make a living by cutting firewood. So uh, it is what it is. I'm not a pro, um, but these are the things that I take into the woods with me. So I hope to see you guys uh, interact with me in the comments. If you think I forgot something or I should put something in my kit that I haven't thought about, then definitely interact with me in the comments below. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button already and you're not following the channel, please consider that subscription as there's always things coming out new all the time. So I decided that I'm gonna start posting videos every uh, every Saturday. I'm gonna post twice on Saturday, noon and eight o'clock. So I've had some good luck with that, so we're gonna stick with that. I digress. Uh, we need to get down to the video. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's come over here to my crate. Let's pull it out here into the garage. Okay, so I'm starting off. I got a couple towels. Um, I throw in some cheap microfibers um, just for wiping your hands if you spill gas or something like that. Go ahead and keep those around um, so that I have them, all right? So put those off to the side. Got a pair of glasses. Um, sometimes I, I wear goggles, sometimes I wear glasses. Just depends on the day. Um, sometimes I just wear regular clear lenses. I got a beanie, of course, for um, cutting, and uh, you know, Marines is always needed. So let's start over here. I just did a simple hook for my Hearing Pro. These are the Peltor Work Tunes. Um, they work okay. Uh, they they re receive local AM FM. Um, they're not too shabby. Uh, I've been running them for a couple seasons now, and I and I like them for the most part. Um, if I'm not doing this, I've got my earbuds in uh, listening to music. So all I did was take a little hook, a cheap hook that I had, put a through bolt here into the side of the crate, and it was as simple as that. So next on over here, uh, I just uh, used a regular uh, Husky clamp for my gloves. Uh, this has got a swivel, so you can do whatever you want with it. But I, uh, I love these ironclad Ranch Works gloves. Um, they're made of, uh, I forget what kind of leather this is. I think it's goat skin leather. Uh, this stuff really holds up to uh, firewood cutting. Um, these gloves are on their second season. They, they hold up great. They have this really uh, rough texture, or whatever you want to call it, really durable uh, piece here in the thumb. I've done a video on these. I'll link it in the upper right-hand corner for you guys. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and leave those out. So next, coming on around here, um, I've got my scrunch tools. Um, I've done, I've put an eyelet here through my scrunch tools. Uh, just used a cotter pin and then a, a swivel. So I have my three different scrunch tools here, um, just hanging in an eyelet um, here on the side of my crate. Just as simple as that. Just put a through through eyelet here, um, tighten the nut down with a washer, and uh, easy day. So I've got a spare bar here just in case. Uh, you know, you want to change out the bar uh, on the fly or in the woods. All I did was use a large zip tie for this. As you can see, the zip tie through the crate. I mean, simple as that. There it doesn't need to be any rocket science. Um, all I did was cut off the cardboard with a pair of scissors. And uh, so that allowed me to, you know, hold the, hold the bar and have it sticking out a little bit. So as for, for my wedges here, all I did was use a piece of gutter. I had some old brown gutter, some uh, little, uh, I don't know, maybe that's three and a half or four inch, whatever they consider. I think it's considered four inch. Uh, all I did was a zip tie on that as well. Um, I actually cut it down and then I can put my wedges in here and I can store them just like that. So, boom, simple as that. I got some uh, flat bastard files for filing rakers on the fly if I need to. Uh, you know, and then I just have a piece of PVC, uh, you know, basically zip tied here in the corner. P piece of cake. Nothing, nothing to it really. Uh, over here, I've got this, uh, this mini hewing axe here. Um, I haven't decided if I really like these, uh, these Velcro things or not. These are basically what they are 
our extension cord holders or whatever you want to call it. Hold, let me see if I can get it off here. Wow, this one's really holding on. All right, now that I finally got it, they come off easily, but um, not when you have the end of it way around where you shouldn't have it. So I use these for wrapping extension cords and stuff like that. I've got my small uh, hand hewing ax here. So if I need to cut off some bark on a big, uh, you know, a big tree before I fell it, um, you know, I have the hewing ax here and just a little hand grind. Make sure it's nice and sharp for cutting, you know, cutting that bark. Um, and that's a, you know, that's a, a flat chisel grind. Um, here in the corner, I've got another PVC piece uh, for a splitting wedge. Um, just in case I need it, if I need to split up some um, huge pieces on the trail, uh, maybe I buck a huge tree and I, I use my splitting wedge to get in there and so I can handle it, put it on the trailer. Um, let's go over my tray here. I've got a raker guide, some extra stuff, just some stuff on the fly. Um, if I really want to use the raker guide, I'll use it. I've got my, uh, my Lansky puck for my axes. I've got a tuning screwdriver and uh, bar nuts are supposed to go in here. I haven't done that yet. So, and also I'll put my round file in there uh, for hand filing my chain while I'm on the trail. So another thing here, uh, another one of those extension, uh, extension straps. Um, I've got my still uh, Picaroon. I just bought this uh, maybe a couple weeks ago now. Um, I'm really just still getting uh, it out on the trail. I haven't decided if it's really worth the money or not. Um, at this point, I kind of have buyer's remorse about how much money I spent on it. I think they're like 75 bucks. Um, I know that you can get a Picaroon a lot cheaper, or you can buy one, or you can make one yourself uh, for a lot less money. So I kind of have buyer's remorse about that one, but um, stay tuned on a review for it. Um, here I have a single bit ax, um, just a regular old ax, just in case I need to, you know, uh, worst case scenario, cut my, cut my chain or my uh, bar out of the tree that I got pinched or something like that. Um, otherwise I carry two or three chainsaws with me to make sure that, you know, you can cut yourself out of whatever. Now the plate on the bottom of this, I used a cheap piece of aluminum I had laying around and I literally just measured it and cut it with the jigsaw and slapped it in here. So, uh, everything short of a round file and some bar nuts. Um, this is my complete kit that I take into the woods. Obviously, uh, I, I keep my uh, Husqvarna combi can with me for gas and oil, but otherwise I keep this right close to the trail um, so that I have everything I need uh, when I'm cutting. I forget where I put this. So let's go ahead and wrap this back up. So what I'd like to do now is let's go outside. I'm gonna show you why I put this stuff in a crate. Um, I think that it's, you know, a lot of people have different schools of thought on stuff like this. Uh, some people like to think, uh, put it in a bag. Some people don't like to carry all this stuff at all. Um, you know, if I had to hike this in a little ways, I can carry it with one hand um, down by my side and I, I can haul this in a little ways. Um, do I need to? No, you really only need your gas can to go with you, but I have all my essentials right there um, next to me while I'm in the woods cutting. Um, let's see here. I've got all my saws laying against the wall here because um, this uh, the chainsaw tree I have to let dry out and make sure that it's fully dried before I uh, store my saws in it. So I'm going to let this cure out for about a year um, before I store my saws in it. But you know, your Husqvarna combi can, still awesome. There's where my round file is. So just in case I need it, it's right here. I can also store it in the crate. You know, it, it's, it's, it's around, it's on something that I have in the woods. Um, and if I, if you haven't seen this already, I have a backup wedge in here. Um, a backup wedge for you know whatever you get yourself into. Um, I also have a uh, Leatherman Micra here that I keep in the bottom with a, another tuning screwdriver just just in case. Um, I like to be over prepared 
and uh, have my affairs in order before I start uh, and put my saw in the tree. So a um, little bit of crap here in the garage, but nonetheless, that's what we got. So let's go outside. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so my Woods vehicle is a uh, Land Rover Discovery. So uh, usually when I'm in the woods, this is the area I work out of. So uh, when I put my saws in here uh, and then I have my crate, I didn't want all my stuff just flopping around everywhere. For the longer saws, I go ahead and put the seat down. Um, what I want to do, probably in another video, we'll do a... a a six by six across here we're gonna cut slots in it for the saw bars to sit while I'm commuting to and from now the reason why I use SUV for my woods truck um, is because my f-350 at the moment is broken um, I shattered the tail housing on the transmission you know too much boost things like that so um, my trucks down so I've been using the Land Rover with the uh, 16 foot um, utility trailer um, just so you know, it's it's very maneuverable. It's a single axle, um, and it allows me to maneuver in the woods and um, you know pick up a lot more wood than I would get in my truck. And I also have a covered area for all my stuff, my tools. Um, you know, a single cab truck is nice um, and and uh, maneuverable, but it doesn't hold everything. And you know, I can still have all of my clothes, everything I need in the back for a nice day in the woods. So that's why I do that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Uh, if you haven't clicked subscribed already, come on, man, you should be subscribed. And uh, as always, for those subscribers that have been around and are loyal to the channel, we'll see you guys in the next video.